So when I drive into the town of Convoy, first thing I see on the sign is Matt Langdon, state champion in track and field. What was it, the 400? Yeah. Yes, it was. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So you, you were a runner in, in state gold way back then. How much did sports play an impact on your high school career and your high school life? Yeah, it played a huge impact on my life. Um, I loved running. My, my high school coach is here. Um, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, right. Can I make, oh, him coach stand? Can I make you stand? You can do whatever yeah. you want. You have the mic. Because yeah, he, yeah, I have the microphone. So. <laughs> um, and Coach Bagley was a huge influence on my life. He was such a positive person um, all throughout my running career. I uh, loved running, cross country and track. And it was just an amazing experience for me. But um, because of him, I, I really was inspired to become a coach. I love the sports of track and cross country. And kind of what they meant, but his leadership and, and him being a mentor um, gave me a, a role model, an example that I want to I do that because he had such an impact with his faith and, and who he was. So um, that started way back in, in high school, and, and now we coach against each other, so um, it's kind of fun. Um, it's neat, and I'm getting much older now, so kids don't know I did that stuff. So when we come into Convoy, they, sometimes they see it, and most of the times they, they don't. So it's an they don't think it's you? They don't care. Okay. They don't care. <laughs> and if I told them, they probably wouldn't believe it. So. <laughs> Fair enough. So you got the job at Lincoln View, coaching cross country, track and field, and then you started the Fellowship of Christian Athletes there. Yeah, we've had um, probably four years ago, yeah. I think, um, I had a student by the name of Julia Thatcher that came to me, and she's like, can we start FCA? I'm like, well, we'll try it. And we've never had it here before. And at that time, I think it was Dan Allison yep. that, that I met with, and um, we thought, well, we'll see who, who shows up. So we had it in my classroom the first time, and I was pretty anxious, and I, I know she was too. And we had it during lunch, and kids just keep, kept coming in my classroom. And before I knew it, it was full. Um, we had to pull desks and chairs from other classrooms. And it was just, like, completely packed. And I'll never forget standing up and asking the kids, like, you do know what this is, right? This is <laughs> FCA, stands for Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Like, yeah, yeah, we know. And, and they've been coming ever since, so it's, it's been neat. And I think you saw on the clip, um, Mackenzie Davis leads, which I think is the neatest thing. We have a junior high huddle that I never go to because I'm teaching at that time. So she and the high school kids um, lead the junior high kids. So that's been amazing. And I know we've had you to speak, and uh, we've had just some really cool things happen at our FCA huddle. So it's been an amazing experience for, for Lincoln View, and our, our school has been behind us 100%. And it's been neat to see what God has done um, with our FCA in just four years. This Wednesday, we'll all meet at 7 o'clock as coaches. We just started a, a three-dimensional coaching group at Lincoln View. This will be our third meeting but it's so cool to see the basketball coaches there and the volleyball coach and the baseball coach and the cross country and track coach to talk about coaching, to talk about life, and to talk about how Jesus coached his team. What have you thought about those groups so far? Yeah, it's, it's been incredible. Um, I've been at Lincoln View for probably 20 years now, and this, this has been something that I've kind of dreamed about doing. And um, almost every varsity um, sport is represented now. And as a coach and a parent, it's neat to know that when my track and cross country kids are involved in other sports, that they're with coaches that are getting this teaching. Um, it's really great teaching in terms of coaching, but the neat thing I mean, we talked about the last time was the spiritual part at the end where Jesus was that coach. I mean, he had a little group of 12 and one of them was pretty bad because he went the other way and betrayed him, <laughs> but um, he had the same issues that, that we kind of deal with and it was neat to see that. And, the excitement from our coaching staff um, is, is neat because our, our AD is behind it, and it's, it's just incredible that it's not just the coaching part of it, but it's the spiritual part of it. And I know that they're taking those things back to their teams, and as a Lincoln View person, as a parent, that really makes me feel good to know that those other kids are getting that too, so that not just at our FCA meeting, they know that when they go to their coaches, they're going to hear hopefully some of those same things that were being taught in our, in our 3D coaching seminars. Awesome. Well, thank you for all you're doing at Lincoln View. It's, it's awesome to, to visit you in Van Wert County. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Appreciate Matt it. Matt Langdon, everybody. <laughs> those coaches groups, we've got five or six of them going on now. And I come into the school, or Steve Stroh does the one at St. Mary's, and we watch a half-hour video. Uh, the videos are free online if you want to check out fcacoachesacademy.com. Uh, Jeff Duke does the first part. He coached with Bobby Bowden at Florida State. And, and we do a half-hour video on something like emotions of your team or motivation, uh, team cohesion, things that every coach deals with. 
And then we talk about the spiritual aspect of how Jesus coached his team. And then we discuss for 30 minutes, how does this affect us and what are we going through uh, as a coach? And so if you would like to bring that to your school, um, I'd love to, to come. It's free. You know, there's no charge. We just got to figure out a day once a month where I can come for an hour. A lot of times it's before school because uh, we want to serve you. We want to be there for you. We want to be a resource for you as coaches.